All right, so we're just going around the corner here. I am going to get a car wash because my car really needs it. I remember back when I used to teach classes, I would pull up and a couple of the little kids would see my car. You know how little kids are? They'll notice something that is you know, kind of like a minor issue, but then it turns into like an entire forest fire. You know, if I have uh, a little bit of dust on my windshield, it's like there's an, actually a nest of spiders inhabiting my entire vehicle. So, joke's on you. I finally gave in. It's actually the complete opposite. You guys won. You made me go and get my car washed. <laughs> and you don't even get to see it now because I'm not teaching anymore. Hang on, I'll be right back. I didn't get my code for whatever reason from the actual pump, so I had to go inside and grab it real quick. I decided to splurge a little bit this time. We're going with the $15 Ultimate Edition. So I'm pampering myself a little bit. Let's see if the car wash is actually open and I didn't get robbed. Remember, I always used to dread going to the car wash because I never knew how to put my car into neutral. I know that seems like it'd be a ridiculous thing not to know, but not all cars are made equal. A lot of them have different controls, so I had to constantly Google how I did this. Welcome to our car wash. Please select to wash by touching the... Yeah. Please enter your code by touching the corresponding buttons. Touch enter when finished. Thank you. Please pull forward slowly into the wash. I was scared for a second. I thought it didn't go through. It like double tapped the button. I'm like, oh no, did you just charge me for two car washes? Okay. Does this have the mirror? Yeah, it does. Just gotta line this up. And then I think I just hold it, right? Yeah, we're in neutral. Maybe we need to pull forward a little more. Is this thing gonna go? They really did rob me, didn't they? We may need to pull forward more. Oh, I do, yeah. My bad. Something therapeutic about going through the car wash. Just relaxing, being able to not have to steer your car, just hang out while these big scary characters from the McDonald's Happy Meals attack you. I think there's something uh, really easing about it. Also, they give you a bit of a light show. I hope this $15 is worth it. We got some cool red lighting, a nice little RGB setup. Get some of the bird off of my car. Do you guys remember what this was like going through as a little kid? Every single time, I thought the windshield was gonna get destroyed, which has actually happened. In fact, the reason I probably had that memory was because there was a commercial showing that happening. I think it was something for car insurance, right? So they show one of the wipers like going through the back windshield. I'm like, oh God, this makes me never want to go to a car wash again. It's probably like six or seven at the time. So we're gonna go through the full RGB spectrum here. If you guys can't afford a ticket to Disneyland and you want to see the world of color, I mean, 15 bucks is not bad. Just go to your local Arco and get the same deal. I mean, you might have to leave a little bit to imagination, but it's not so bad, right? This part, they always try to give you less air than you probably deserve, so I try to, I like to break here and get the full effect, you know what I mean? No one's behind me anyway, so. I think we're good. 
There we go. Good as new. I just took all the leaves that were on top of my windshield and sort of spread them around a little bit. I mean, I guess that counts as a cleaning, right? It's like when you're 10 years old and your mom tells you to clean up your room. You're like, yeah, sure. You just shuffle some things around. Oh, was I the only one that did that? This is great. Now when I get home, I can park it right under the trees that made it dirty to begin with for the next week and a half. So I probably won't be driving for a few days. It's been a minute since I've booked a background gig. The only reason I went out today actually was because one of my former esports guys invited me to see the movie The Fall Guy with Ryan Gosling. That's right, not Ryan Reynolds. In fact, I was a little confused because I went up to the uh, ticket booth. It's not really a booth, it's a counter. Went to the ticket counter. And I said, can you get me two tickets for the movie with Ryan Gosling? Because I wasn't sure what the name, because there's Free Guy, and then there's The Fall Guy. But I got the titles mixed up. And what made it worse was the guy at the counter actually said, is that, the, is that Deadpool or Barbie? So we were both looking at each other confused. Eventually we figured it out and got to see the right movie. But it was actually a really good movie. It gave me some flashbacks to the good old parkour days back when I used to train regularly since it's a movie about stuntmen and uh, you know all the hard work that they do they're kind of the unsung heroes of the film industry because they got to take all the hits do all the wild daring jumps and they don't get very much credit for it obviously they appear in the credits at the end of the film but the actor takes all the glory which partially the reason why I opted to do acting instead of, uh, instead of stunts, because one, I didn't want to get injured, and two, I really wanted my face to be on screen if I'm being totally transparent with you. I'm just that vain. So that's why we're here right now, which of course is a much more challenging, well, not necessarily more challenging. I would say there are a lot more people who probably want to be your run-of-the-mill actor so that's why there's more competition. It takes a lot of guts to be the dude getting rolled out from a cord controlled by someone else. You're literally putting your life in other people's hands. But that isn't to say that I didn't have an amazing experience training parkour and free running for many years. In fact, it led to some of the best memories I had studying in another country and um, you know, teaching for many years, meeting all sorts of wonderful students who, by the way guys, if you're watching this, I miss you, you're the best. Um, so yeah, that was a quick little trip to the car wash. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day and um, see you soon, maybe on the next live stream. Take care.